calls into healthcare is what we have uh, asked you to come on to talk about a piece of legislation that takes a look at the issue of reinsurance and yeah. the larger aspects of the Affordable Care Act. Can you tell us what your interest is and what you'd yeah. like to see happen? Uh, very important piece of legislation. The Republican effort to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, which I am a Republican, ultimately voted against uh, for a couple reasons, didn't didn't pass, didn't get signed into law. We are now looking at 2019 health insurance rates, which will make its way through the state health insurance commissioners and ultimately to the Health and Human Services Agency down here, so that next October, new health insurance rates will be out for Americans. Uh, the president decided against uh, the objections of many of us or the recommendations of many of us to um, do away with cost sharing reduction payments, which has the effect of raising health insurance rates for many low and middle income Americans. By restoring CSR payments, which is what their, the acronym is, which I would like to do in this bill, we have the ability to reduce health insurance premiums upwards of 20 percent for a lot of Americans. That is coupled in the legislation with $10 billion per year that would get channeled to states so that they can implement their own reinsurance programs for anything from preventative care, maternity coverage, mental health, whatever a state feels they need to do on a reinsurance side in order to bring down rates with what's known as a federal fallback. So for a very expensive uh, patient, you would have the federal government being the backstop for those that are most costly to the health insurance system so that it, that has the impact across uh, the board of lowering health insurance uh, payments. And what I would hope that it would do is it would sort of be a pilot program so that we know the best way to go about reducing and stabilizing the health insurance marketplace, which whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, everybody feels there's way too much volatility in the health insurance marketplace from year to year. And we need to do a much better job in that arena, coupled with uh, some other things on reducing actually the cost of health care, which is different from health insurance costs, as we, many know. We saw the president run on dismantling the ACA. We've heard Republicans run on dismantling the ACA. What's the reaction to this, which would give stability to the current system? Well, look, I would say uh, two things. Number one, you can't, if you're going to repeal, you need to demonstrate that you're going to replace it with something better. Number two, uh, regardless of whether you don't like the Affordable Care Act or not, what all of us shouldn't like is a highly volatile health insurance marketplace with um, unpredictable health insurance premium spikes from year to year. What this does is for a period of two years is provide that stability that we need. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't and we should uh, continue to have debate in Congress, continue to hear from uh, patient advocates, uh, health insurance providers, consumers, doctors, everyone in the, the supply chain of the health care system in our country to find improvements to our health care system. Whether that ultimately means we change the name of the law and some of it remains or we revamp it more broadly or whether we make incremental changes to it, most Americans do not care whether I'm a Republican or a Democrat or whether it's named the Affordable Care Act or something else. They just want their health insurance uh, to be uh, stable. They'd like it to be less expensive. And they want to know that the health care system is functioning at a more optimal level than it is right now. How much